Not long ago, I made this faster Christmas B-roll and I didn't expect much, but I must tell you, I really liked the results. So I decided to share it with you guys and show you in detail how you can do it yourself. So if you want to learn how to shoot cinematic B-rolls, make sure to watch this video to the very end. But first, check out what I shot this week. Hello there, hope you like the b-roll I've made. My name is Roman and you're watching Movavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making greater videos. Since it's holiday season, my girlfriend Alice decided to make a lemon cake. That's her special, I love it. So I thought, why not film a short clip about it, like if it was a commercial for the cake, but with no budget, using only the camera and the cheap lights I've got and our kitchen. As you can see, it wasn't half bad. It took us about two hours of setting the scene up and filming it, and about two more hours editing in Movavi Video Editor. So today I'm gonna walk you through the process of creating such B-rolls. By the end of this video, you will learn about the important tips and moves I use while filming and also the essential editing techniques. But before we get straight to the point, please make sure to subscribe to the Mobile Vlog channel, ring the notification bell and hit the like button as well. Meanwhile, I'm gonna make a short announcement about how deals Movavi is preparing for you this holiday season. If you're looking for tools and effects to create and spice up your own festive themed b-roll or any other happy holidays video, I'm happy to tell you guys that the Movavi holiday sale is in full swing. That's right, and it will continue until January the 11th, so everyone has a chance to treat themselves with the brand new versions of Movavi apps and some add-ons from Movavi Effects Store. Video Editor Plus, Video Suite, Photo Editing Software and even Movavi Unlimited, the annual personal plan, will be available at juicy discounts. But if you're thinking of practical gifts for your family and friends, I'm sure you'll find some cool options for work and study on the sale page too. All you have to do to get to the deals is hit the link in the description or pinned comment below. Redeem our promo code Happy Holidays for an additional 5% discount on any deal from the page. By the way, if you already have Movavi Video Editor Plus or Video Suite and just want to add more effects to your built-in collection, check out how many discounts Movavi Effects Store has to offer. Just follow the link below and add any effects you like to your cart. Enjoy shopping and happy holidays! Ok, let's get back to our b-roll. First of all, you gotta find the location. It must look good on camera at different angles and also be comfortable enough for you to move around with the camera and film. In our case, we used our own kitchen, but we had to move the table and kitchen couch a little bit to have more space. We also spent some time decorating the table with Christmas lights, candles and other festive stuff, cause we simply wanted the video to look pretty. The second thing you better think about in advance is the lights. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm not a big fan of ceiling lights, but in this case, we had that lamp hanging exactly above the table, creating a warm kitchen light, so I decided to keep it. After all, it's a warm, moody Christmas b-roll. 
but I did add two soft boxes to have just enough amount of light in the scene. So we started with the oven. The idea was we as the viewers first see the oven and then Alice takes the lemon cake out and we see the cake, the main character of this video. So this was our opening shot. Then we continued with the other shots all about preparing and decorating the cake, step by step revealing the short story until we reached the pack shot. In our case, the shot with the beautifully decorated table with candles, gingerbread, Christmas lights and the cake in the center of it. Almost all the shots I made are close-ups or extreme close-ups. I never used any tripods, monopods, gimbals, electronic or mechanical stabilizers for this particular video. It was was all handheld camera all the way. And I gotta tell you, it was actually a lot of fun practicing those camera moves, improvising, even making up some moves right on the go, having dozens of bad takes and trying again. Of course, we did not do it all by a single take. Then finally, I realized I got enough shots and decent takes to combine it all into one awesome B-roll using video editing software like Movavi Video Editor. As you might have noticed, the original shots look very different from the final shots. On post-production, I added stabilization, applied the speed ramp technique, used some color adjustment and added cinematic black bars. Well, we will get to post-production a little bit later, but for now, let me tell you a little bit more about the camera settings I use. It's important for videos of such genre. Well, I love my Sony a7 III camera. Besides its many advantages, it has also great autofocus. And I usually use autofocus when I shoot vlogs, like right now, for example. But for B-rolls, I highly recommend you to turn the autofocus off and only use manual focus. It's okay if a lot of objects in the frame are out of focus from time to time, because it's exactly what we love such b-rolls for. Beautiful bokeh, falling out of focus and back in focus. So in order to control it, use the manual mode, choose the object you want to be in focus in the particular shot, and then set the focus up and follow the object or use the camera movements to control the focus. The second important tip regarding the camera settings is the aperture. As I said, playing around with the focus and all that stylish bokeh tricks is what makes those b-rolls cinematic. To create such blurry background shots you can see in my b-roll, you gotta have a very narrow depth of field in your camera, which is achieved by setting up low numbers of aperture. For my b-roll shots, I kept it from f2.8 to f4, depending on the shots and the amount of bokeh I wanted. Do not forget about slow motion. This technique is widely used for b-rolls, but if you want to create the slow-mo effect, you gotta film it at higher FPS. For my video, I set it up at 50 FPS, which gave me the chance to make it two times slower with normal 25 FPS for the final video. Finally, I switched the white balance to the manual mode as well and set the permanent temperature for the whole shooting so all the shots are consistent. I almost forgot about the lens. Well, wide angle is not a perfect choice for B-rolls cause it almost never looks cinematic. This is why I wanted to use 50mm, but such focal length would have made it rather difficult to shoot those extreme close-ups, make handheld camera moves and then stabilize it. So I went for 35mm and had no regrets. Ok, if all these aperture, depth of field, FPS and white balance stuff tells you nothing, don't worry. On our channel we have a great tutorial on manual camera settings. Make sure to watch it before you go filming your b-roll. I bet it will help you a lot. The link will be in the description. Now when I've told you about the setup and the camera settings for filming such b-rolls, it's time to show you some post-production essentials. Well, all you might need for creating videos of such genre you can find in Movavi Video Editor. After all the clips are sorted out and the best takes are chosen, go ahead and slow the clips down. Select the clips on the timeline, click Tools and then Slow Motion. If you have filmed them at 50 or 60 frames per second, you can set 50% and make the footage two times slower, having 25 or 30 FPS for the exported file after editing. 
Handheld shooting might be challenging even for experienced filmmakers. So before you go any further, check if your footage is stable enough. If not, select the clip and apply the stabilization tool. The next trick we're gonna need for creating an awesome B-roll is speed ramp. Basically, it's when a shot starts with increased playback speed, then slows down and finishes with extreme speed. Again, it takes some practice to achieve a smooth speed ramp, but the idea is you cut a clip into five or more pieces and set up different speed values to them. Check out the speed ramp tutorial on our channel, it will help you a lot. And don't forget about the background music. This is super important for any B-roll. This is what sets the mood and also helps you choose the right length of the shots and achieve cinematic speed ramp. All right, great shots, slow motion, stabilization, speed ramp and music is what can make or break a B-roll. But in order to make it even more cinematic, you can add some extra details. For instance, black bars. I guess this cheap trick never gets old, but it works. Of course, I'm gonna add some color adjustments. For this purpose, there are lots in Movavi Video Editor, and I think this romance lot will do. Don't be too crazy on the speed ramp technique. Simple pan and zoom effect sometimes is a better decision, like for this shot in the last part of the video. Also, sound design adds a lot of cinematic feel to any B-roll. For my project, I looked up for royalty-free sounds and found some options to liven up the video. For example, check out this crunch sound I added in post-production. Finally, the titles. Movavi Video Editor offers some great ready-made presets of artistic titles. I chose this preset, adjusted it to my taste, changed the text and color and used it for my pack shot. Looks beautiful. All right, let's check out again what we've got after filming and post-production. Thank you guys for watching, I hope my experience will show you that making such b-roll is a lot of fun and also not as hard as it may seem. I wish you happy holidays and we'll see you very soon. Bye!